So some of our ecosystems may pass some very drastic shift. And this is very important to understand because we may pass the tipping point without feeling it. I'm a mathematician and I work in dynamical systems. So dynamical systems, it's systems that depend on time. So for instance, in a model, you give yourself the rule. Well, what happens from one day to the next? Once you have the rule, the big, it allows you to answer what will happen in one month, in two months. The idea of modeling is to have a very drastic simplification of reality. If you have too much detail, you don't see anything. Look at uh, the temperature, meteorology. If you are looking to the weather every day in each part of the world, you don't see the picture. So you need simplification. When you have a very smooth movement, the feeling is that if things are moving slowly, you can come back slowly which is not the case if you are in a canoe on a river and then the fall is coming and suddenly you realize it's going too fast and it's time to stop, it's too late. So in fact, this is one uh, message that we have from dynamical systems. There are some tipping points. And if we pass a tipping point, no return is possible. So some of our ecosystems may uh, pass some very drastic shift. We may pass the tipping point without feeling it. One important tool of mathematics is optimization. So for instance, we know we will need to uh, adapt to climate change to mitigate. Optimization is to, uh, it helps you to find where you can have the most efficient action with the uh, highest impact. And it's very important, well, first that the government understand how they can act the most efficiently, but also that the population is aware, uh, understand what's happened and, and that they understand. And if they understand that the government are working for them, they are more likely to accept the decision. And also the small communities may have an active role in uh, making small uh, initiatives within the community to move to sustainable development.